Hello everyone, and welcome back to my building guide for Horse Isle 3. In the last video, I was on a different ranch, and uh, I didn't like the way that one turned out, so we are going to start fresh on this new ranch. Um, as you can see, I already have my barn built. If you're wondering how the heck I uh, designed this or made it, I have kind of a simpler version in the last video, so you can go back and watch that. But... Um, we are not here to talk about barns. We are here to talk about building arenas and pens. So this parcel is going to be very hard to see, but mm, you can kind of see the property line here. Comes out along this way and then over and across. And so on this one, I want to build an arena like right here in the middle and it's gonna be massive but I want it to be at an angle. So like I want this barn facing the end and I want it to run lengthwise um, on the angle of my ranch instead of like having it square. So the first step in doing that, or what I like to do at least, is I find the corner, whichever corner is gonna run the length of my arena and I'm going to run it all the way across my parcel. And this is just going to mark center. And so when I'm counting my, my uh, squares, this is going to, um, I'm going to count outward from this, basically. And so I'm going to hold shift to make sure it's on that diagonal and it's not like over here somewhere. So hold shift, click, and that's done. So once I get the arena going, um, I'll be able to delete this and take it down and use that decoration permit, but for now we're gonna leave it. So I like to start, when I'm doing an arena, um, I start on the far end of my arena and I start at the end cap. Uh, when I'm doing like small paddocks or pastures or pens for horses to be in, I usually start where I put the gate, uh, so like the front or a corner but for the arena, I want it to be about out this way. And so I'm going to make sure that's even. And so what I'm doing is I'm just counting the fence posts and I can see where it intersects with my center line. So I have one, two, three, four posts on this side, one, two, three, four posts on that side. So that's even. And, um, that's going to be the start of my arena. I'm going to build again. And so when I do this, I count um, squares. As in the last video, we talked about counting squares. So it's a little bit difficult when you're doing a diagonal like this because your fence is going to be doing this kind of thing the whole time. And so you just kind of have to be patient with it. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is nine squares or ticks long. So I'm going to remember that. Um, sometimes if I'm doing a blueprint for my arenas, like I do a lot, I will usually put it in my notes. So here I have my ranch arenas uh, my dressage arenas, we are going to do show jumping is going to be nine by, I know we're going to leave that blank because I'm not sure what the rest of my fence lengths are going to be yet. So I just kind of wing this and, uh, Oops, that's where I started it. So I have to build this way. I just kind of wing it <laughs> when I'm doing this kind of thing. Um, and then whatever I do on one side, I just count and I copy it on the other side. But you have to build, again, circular, or uh, circular, I'm sorry, linear. And so this is going to kind of be a rounded end. And so when you're doing a weird angle like this that's not on the diagonal or it's not on a straight, <clears throat> the way I count it 
is length by width of, so you basically make a triangle. So like this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by one, two, three, four. So seven by four. And so I'm gonna write that in my notes. seven by four, and then this is my little sign for like an angle. Oops. Okay. And if you don't want to count, you can always do this. And like I showed you in the last video, take it across <clears throat> and just this takes a little bit more materials, so I find just counting and figuring it out. Uh, it's a lot more work initially, but it saves you on materials. So it just kind of depends on um, what you're willing to spend on it. And so when I do this, I'm still counting, right? So I've got, that's where it ends. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven but then I don't have to count the four up. I just have to keep this in line and bring it up to wherever it hits that fence and then connect it back. And so this is even now. And I'm going to delete my marker fence. And since I have to build linearly, right, this, this side of my arena my start points are going to be, I'm going to have to count backwards, whereas my other side of the arena, I'm counting forwards. So I'm always going to build that side first, and then I'm going to come back and count backwards and do this side, and just kind of make sure everything's lined up as I go. It's a lot easier to do it that way than to get back at the end and <laughs> have stuff misaligned. So again, take this. And do I want to do that angle? I do not want to do that angle, so we are going to. But I don't want it to be a hard corner like that, so we're going to do another kind of weird thing here. And just make it like there. Make sure that's on top. Build another fence marker. And when I'm doing these markers, I'm always holding shift to make sure they're square because it has to be square on this diagonal, right, to make it even. This is, this is the uh, plane or point plot line. Sorry, that's the word I'm looking for. This is the plot line that it's on. So I'm going to count my length here following this one get lined up here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And make sure that's the right one. Yeah, eleven. So we're gonna come out here. Again on this side. Oops, oh yeah. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. But we are coming up. Placing it on that same square. And so as you can see, like when I'm doing this, when I'm counting the squares, I'm not counting just like wherever I'm s like, you can see each post there's like, well, I can't do it, but the square around the post is in line with the square of my parcel and so I'm counting either on this line 
or I'm counting on this line, right, across here, or I'm counting the diagonals, which is harder. And so that's point to point, like that. And so that's the hard one. Usually it's easier to just count length and then width and then measure that out. It's just whatever you're comfortable with. Okay. And then now I think I'm ready for my straight. And this is going to be a lot easier because I just kind of take it however far I want to go. How big do I want this arena? That's not very wide, is it? Mm, I think I want this wider. So we're going to take off these last fences I did and redo them. And it's just this whole process of just kind of trial and error when you're doing arenas. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my straight from here to make sure that that is what I want. a little bit wider and so I'm holding shift I think I want my end to be right here I'm going to build my markers across the center line somewhere around there And so since I did a starting post here, I'm not going to be able to place one there. So I'm going to have to place it right in front. And this angle that I'm trying to make is going to be on the diagonal. And so I place it one square directly in front of it on the diagonal. Hold shift. No way that's the same length. Oh, I just widened it. Okay. Confused myself for a minute. Delete this one. And then I'm going to have to come back here and count what I did. So this is, and again, we're counting on the diagonal. So this is one, two, three, four. Five, where is that? Five? Four and a half? Oh goodness. One, two, three, four, and a half. So then from that diagonal, one all the way up. And I'm going to hope that this is even because <laughs> I made this very difficult for myself. And that is the struggle with making rounded pens and arenas. Let's see. Come up here and kind of eyeball it. That is even enough. So we are going to go with it. So then since I have to start this fence back here behind me, I'm going to come up to this post and find that diagonal line right there and draw it back all the way. This is a lot easier to do 
when your arena is square on the parcel. Um, this angled arena is extremely advanced and extremely annoying and very difficult to do. Doink. And this is why I do third person and I ride my horse when I do this is because it's much easier to see my lines and my angles and everything like that. So now this arena is coming together very nicely, I think. Usually, <laughs> usually I'll do one end and then I don't feel like measuring the other end. And um, so I just do like planters along the end or something, but we're gonna try and do this. So I'm gonna put this down all the way to the end. And this is a marker fence, obviously, for that angle. And then... I'm going to count this length. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm going to count this length. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, and then I'm going to zoom in for this part. Twelve by one, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oops, I lost it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so this isn't going to reach twelve. Yes, it is. Twelve. And then. One, two, three, four, four, right there. And that is that angle. Okay, that's the difficult one. I'm going to do the same on the other side. way down and actually once you get this part you can do this and then do this and this will be your intersect for this other side so you don't even have to count it if you have the wood to waste this is a lot easier I have a ton of wood to waste so <laughs> We're just going to do it. Ta-da! No counting required. How easy is that? It's not easy, but <laughs> that's okay. Okay, I'm just going to do that, and then I'm going to do planters on the rest of it. It makes it look a lot fancier. And, um... Yeah, it just helps a lot. Uh, so my entrance is going to be here. I can't build it on the fence, so I'm building it right next to the fence. And then I'm going to move it one right here. Hold shift. And that's going to be the entrance to this arena. So that is... <laughs> basically how I build my arenas um, and then like I said if I'm doing paddocks 
Mm. Yeah, we'll say I want to do a small one over here. We'll just do it right here. How about that? I will usually start... Oops. I'll usually start, like I said, up at the front. And it takes a lot more wood, but I like to add angles to my... Um, all of my fences and my areas so like you can just do one or like two by two is what I usually do and it, again it takes a lot more um, permits and building materials but I think it adds a nice finishing touch so if you get to the point where you can do this and you have materials to waste and whatever um, highly recommend doing that. So now the problem with this is since I started on that front side, I'm going to go ahead and do my gate. And so in the last video I mentioned how some things can turn on a 45 degree angle and others can only turn on a 90 degree angle. Gates only go to 90 degrees. You can't build them on a diagonal which is very annoying because I would really like to have gates built on the diagonal sometimes, but you cannot. So we just deal with it. So I'm going to go ahead and build that. Oops, that's not what I want. Build a split rail. And then I'm going to do this backside, starting there. And then to make sure I don't mess it up, I'm going to pull it up here and then draw it back on that line hold shift once I get kind of close to it and release it. That way I know it's going to line up when I connect everything together. And then here on my last angle I just kind of eyeball it. So I want that to be a 2 by 2 so that's going to end about there. And then my diagonal is going to line up and there's my little pen. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, but it's very difficult until you get the hang of it. And then once I do that, I'm going to buy another building permit and I'm going to get a pasture out here and throw a horsey. We'll do we'll put Bragg in here. She's a good girl. And there you go. And so that is how I do my arenas. Um, once I'm done with that, and I'm done with, I do my barns first, and then I usually do my fencing. And then after that, I add in all the extra stuff like planters and things like that. So, and that just helps fill in the space. So we're just going to do trees along here. And they cost a lot, but I think they are worth it. And so when I'm doing this, I count, again, I count everything on my ranches. And so people are like, oh, it's so perfect and so equal. That's because I spend hours counting squares on this game. So <laughs> one, two, three, four. Four. We'll just do four out, and then the next one we'll do at an angle. One, two, three, one. Crap. One, two, three, four, one, two. That's good enough, right? And then this one, did I do it even or did I do it to the inside of that post? See, that's the other thing is I gotta, I did it even, okay. One, two, three, four. One. 
two, three. Did I do three? Did I do two? I think I did two. Is that even? I don't know. We're just going to count it because if it's uneven, it's going to drive me nuts. So one, two, three, four, one, two. I did do two. Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two. Ta-da! And so now I just used a bunch of materials and a bunch of decoration permits. But once I put these trees in here, I don't know what kind I want to do. We'll just do almond for now since that's what I have around my barns. I usually like to do um, lodge lodgepole pines because they look like flagpoles to me and I think that's very cool it makes it feel super official like the Olympics or something or like a world arena I like the aesthetic of it but I also like trees like almonds blue spruce um, things like that that fill in the space a lot more that looks good a little bit of, diff of a different color on the savanna yeah and then if you have spaces like this in between your things and you want to add fencing without adding fencing, I do this. Mm. Insert an obstacle after and I go in and I do coarse fencing. And these are the little white dressage fences and I'll plop them down like that. And then I click on it, put obstacle after cross fence, another one on this side, and that helps fill in the space. And if you've ever seen my ranches, I have a lot of these little things down. Um, I, I literally dedicate entire courses to this fencing. Um, it helps add a finishing touch, kind of like the planters to my ranches and so what I do is I will hide the entrance to the courses back here so if I type poke horse he's going to yeet me up on the roof and that's how I get in the middle here right and so then I'll go to courses I'm done with that one I'll add a course build the start gate and I'll put it right as close as I can to my barn. And then I don't want my barn, I want my course gate. About, manage, and the ones I use for my course or for my ranch decor, I just put their name as a line. So it's very short and simple and I can tell it apart from all my others. And also, as long as there's no time on this, this will not show up on the uh, comp boards at your club. So you don't have to worry about that. Hop on another horse, poke horse to get out. Hop on him again. And so now I can go here manage course fencing and build fencing as much as I want and the easiest way to do that once you build one about after course fence and then you just keep doing that and um, you can make like paths and stuff across your ranch that way connect parcels. That's how, like, when I do multiple parcels, I'll actually just show you. Um, this one I built up earlier today. Well, last night and today. So this is two different parcels. And so I'm on one. This is the center of one. And then I made these barns, like, right on the edge of my property 
And so like these are right on the edge of this property and then these are right on the edge of my other property. Oops. And so that's as close as I can possibly build barns and fencing and everything. And so all of this stuff is right on the edge, but you can place planters outside of the boundaries to an extent. Um, you can build it like halfway through, halfway between the different parcels here. And so I have these trees and then what I'm gonna do is eventually I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna build that course fencing I just showed you around here and I'm just gonna connect it this way and make a big path right here so it looks like one giant ranch and that's how I do that and uh, I'll probably show updates in the next video if that's something you guys would be interested in um, and then I'm also going to make videos showing how I build my courses so thanks for watching I uh, hope you found that helpful again building is a lot of counting <laughs> It's a lot of patience, it's a lot of trial and error, so don't get disheartened if uh, you don't get it first try or you don't understand. I have moved all of my ranches probably like six times, so I have done this a lot and I have spent a lot of game money and uh, tens of thousands of materials building and rebuilding and trying different builds and doing different things with my ranches. Um, so again, some of the stuff is advanced. Some of it's relatively easy. It's just, like I said, trial and error. So thanks for watching. If you found any of this helpful, go ahead and hit the like and um, subscribe if you'd like updates on my next videos and everything else that I'm doing. See you guys next time.